Hello and welcome to this quick tutorial on importing AutoCAD drawings into Blender. Okay, so to begin with, you save your AutoCAD file as a DWG, okay, and convert it to a DXF, as you can see on screen here. That's the file extension, okay, and you can get converters online to convert that for you. Okay, then you open up Inkscape and load in your DXF. Okay, and Inkscape is a vector graphics program. It's a free one and it's it works very well in conjunction with Blender. So it's a good asset to have on your computer. Okay, so once you have the DFX file in there, you can just press file and save as a .svg which is just the standard Inkscape format. Okay, and then open up Blender and go up to File, User Preferences, and under Add-ons, you need to, to enable the add-on import export .svg. Okay, it's this one here, Scalable Vector Graphics. Let's put a check mark here and save user settings and just X. Okay, so if I just come into the 3D view here, press delete, get rid of that cube. I can come up here to file, oh, file, import, and scalable vector graphics should be here. And I'm just going to select my SVG file, press seven for top view, and I'm in art graphic. Okay, I'm just gonna press B for box selection and press S for scale and just 10 for 10 times that size. Okay, I'm gonna press A just to deselect. And if I just run a box selection over this ground floor plan, I will just press Control J to join them. Okay, if I select this and press B again, select this. At the moment, all of these lines you see here are actually curves so we need to convert them so if i press alt c and convert to mesh from curve metasurf text okay and while all these are selected i'm just going to press ctrl j again to join them and they all turn the same shade of orange okay so or yellow and i can tab into edit mode and we have lines that we can extrude up or whatever so if i press a once or twice to select them all press e z to restrict it to the z axis and just start modeling okay so very handy very fast and the good thing about importing svgs in this format or into blender is everything is scalable okay so you get exact locations of your windows doors rooms everything it's it's very impressive so it's very easy to keep everything in the real world scale okay so that's my tutorial if you're interested in this i will just show you a quick intro to my new course available on udemy okay so stay tuned for that but otherwise thanks for watching this tutorial See you next time. Hi, and thanks for viewing this house design course. In this course, we use the free 3D software suit Blender to create this amazing realistic looking house. With a simple house plan drawn in AutoCAD and converted for Blender, we quickly begin to raise these 2D lines off the ground and into a visually impressive structure. This course will guide you through the steps involved to model and add material to a home designed for real world. This course is great for anyone who would like to plan and build their own home or get started in the world of architectural visualization. So start today and soon your house sketches could be a physical building.